it's a pleasure to explore the world of, of Tarzan with you guys because it's a visual feast and the technology makes it so rich as well. So how much do you have fun with that? It, 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 for me personally, about you, David, but for me, yeah. the whole um, CG process is really fun. Post production mm. is fun uh, because you get a second chance to to make the film. Uh, and as the even though we know what's coming, as the CG develops uh, and the animation takes place and the finishing, all sorts of some creatures start to get fur and and become real. It's a really exciting uh, process, and even though we've done it lots of times before. Uh, when you see the final thing, I still think, wow, you know, this is amazing. And it's anything, fun. anything becomes possible now. It is extraordinary mm. what animators can do. And, and, and we're doing things in this movie which w would not traditionally be considered visual effects moments, mm. like the sequences on a boat. We're traveling down the, a, a, a river in the Congo, and we're stitching plates that we've shot in Gabon at the right time of day, in the right light, in the right exposure, with sequences with Christoph and Margot that we shoot in England at the right time of day with the right light, mm. and blending those things together and moving the camera around in a very immersive mm. way. And they're not visual effects scenes, but they're very visual effects dependent, and they feel very real. So it's very exciting, actually, to do that. Yeah. It's literally yeah. the magic of movie making. The magic it of is. movie making, <laughs> indeed, yeah. yeah. And obviously, you know, at the core of it, it has to be the, the great characters that we've always known. Yes. No, no bad story can, mm. can look good on screen. What do you think makes the, you know, the Tarzan kind of uh, archetype so enduring in terms of character? Mm. I was thinking of all the superheroes we're surrounded yes. with mm. these yes. days. Yeah, I think I think he connects us to nature in a really interesting way, mm -hmm. and that sense of where we began, our deep roots to the to the sort of natural world, I think endure and fascinate us. Especially as we spend more and more time in these big cities and um, we get pulled away from the countryside. There's something really appealing about that, and there was something always quite sexy about Tarzan mm -hmm. as well, w way back when he started. Something about the wildness and the primal sort of nature of him that was intriguing to us as audiences, I think. Yeah, and it makes for a very yeah. compelling romance, basically. Yes, kind of yeah. kind root for them. So that made it yeah. very important for you guys to find your two leads. Yes, and obviously definitely. the most cliche question I can ask you, but <laughs> why did it work so well? Why did it work? They have they the, they, work well. The moment they first met, actually, they had a chemistry. They clicked. They just clicked, and they have fun together. They enjoy each other's company, and it's a, it's a, it's a real and proper chemistry. And I think that yeah. shows on the screen because we don't have long uh, before Margot uh, Margot's character Jane gets kidnapped in the the film. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see them together very often, and we have to you know, hope that the, they the audience find a very real relationship very quickly with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they do because they do have this this uh, magic between them the technology makes things easier but what remains the main challenge of making a movie so visually real uh, whilst not always being on the locations we try and make all the foreground mid-ground stuff as real as possible so our big sets our, the jungles mm. that we created felt very real when we were filming in them we had big rain heads that gave us monsoons we had rivers running through the sets we had waterfalls the actors got very wet, very dirty, mm. very messed up, as they would in the real jungle. And even our sets started to develop microclimates. So after about three or four days, all these insects started appearing. <laughs> so you turn up on the set, and the humidity had created yeah, yeah. its own ecosystem. So it, you, you with create... With the accompanying smell. With the accompanying <laughs> smell. <laughs> so it, gorillas in Watford. Gorillas in Watford, exactly. <laughs> So it felt oddly real when you when you when you're filming in the rain for three hours, you feel you feel very present. Yeah, you, and forget very real. Not, uh, you forget you're not. You forget you're on the yeah. soundstage. Yeah. 